Hello, my YouTube family. I hope you had a blessed day. Our aim is to teach you something about the food the FDA allows us to consume so you can make educated purchases when feeding your loved ones. Seek the advice of a medical or nutrition professional prior to making any changes to your diet. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Let's get familiar. The Color of Poison Part 2 Last Friday was Part 1 of the Color of Poison series. Today, we'll cover the last four of the food colorings commonly used in our foods. Also, I'm going to include a bonus coloring at the end. As I said last week, there are hundreds of strictly regulated food colorants that the FDA claims are safe for consumption. But are they really? We have already covered the following. Blue 1 Blue 2, Citrus Red 2, and Green 3. If you didn't see last week's episode, pause this video and open the link below in the new tab so you can get caught up. It's important to watch that video before viewing this one. The food colorings covered in this video are much more lethal than the ones from last week. I saved the best for last. Remember, it's important that you view both videos so you can start paying attention to labels when you're shopping and you get a full scope of exactly what's going on. You'll notice that you see these ingredients a lot when you start looking at these labels. Okay, so let's dig deeper into this hole. Red 40. Red 40 is a chemical compound that comes from coal tars. Dyes made from coal tars are created by mixing various fragrant smelling hydrocarbons like benzene and toluene. According to the Center for Science in the Public Interest, some people who have come in contact with products containing Red 40 have had allergic reactions such as swelling around the mouth. Research has also shown a link between Red 40 and hyperactivity in kids. This one is bad. Really, really bad. Red 3. Red 3 has been used as a food dye since its approval by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 1907. It's a water-soluble dye with about a 58% iodine content. This is the most controversial dye. Male rats given Red 3 had an increased risk of thyroid tumors. Based on this research, the FDA issued a partial ban on Red 3 in 1990, but later removed the ban. After reviewing the research, they concluded that the thyroid tumors were not directly caused by Red 3. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but the fact that an animal that they were testing this on developed thyroid tumors is enough for me not to want to have that in my system. In the U.S., Red 3 has mostly been replaced by Red 40, but it's still used in the maraschino sherries, candies, and popsicles. Yellow 5 Yellow 5 is widely used in the making of potato chips, jams, candy, drinks, and even pet food. It's also added to shampoo and other cosmetic products as well as vitamins and certain medications. Yellow 5 is banned in Austria and Norway and other European countries have issued warnings about their possible side effects. It's still freely and extensively used in the U.S., however.
Yellow 6. Yellow 6, a toxic chemical, is a sulfonated form of Sudan 1. This poisonous substance was one of the original petroleum azo compound dyes developed in the late 19th century during the European textile boom. Sudan 1 is classified as a level 3 carcinogen, meaning that it caused cancerous tumors in lab animals, but has no specific link to cancer in humans. But again, if it's giving lab animals cancer, this is not something I want in my system. A tiny proportion of people express an allergy to yellow 6 and experience symptoms such as hives, asthma, and skin rashes. Now for the bonus food coloring. It's not usually mentioned along with the other food colorings, but it's equally important to acknowledge this one. Those of you familiar with my food label videos have heard this before. I mentioned it when I was reviewing the Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki sauce. Caramel color. Caramel color production always starts with a carbohydrate source and high heat. Subsequent modifications, however, alter their chemistry physical properties, and importantly, their effects on the human body. The resulting compound is classified into one of four categories depending on the method of production. Class 1, no ammonium or sulfites, used in high-proof alcohols. Class 2, sulfites added, no ammonium, used in some cognac, sherry, and vinegar. Class 3, this next one is the one that was added to the Sweet Baby Ray teriyaki sauce. Class 3, ammonium compounds added, no sulfites. This is used in some beers, sauces, and candy. Class 4, ammonium and sulfites added, used in soft drinks. family, it's obvious what we have to do to protect ourselves and our families. We owe it to everyone we love to share this information and ensure they're aware of the chemicals being used to color their food. You have to remember, the FDA is not going to ban these chemicals anytime soon. I have shown in many of my videos that an item in another country will have healthier ingredients, while the same item here will have the chemicals in it. The best example of this is the Food Label Friday video regarding Cap'n Crunch Crunch Berries. If you've not seen that video, I suggest you watch it after you watch these. It's a perfect illustration of how Canada gets the healthy ingredients and the U.S. gets the chemicals. There's so much more detail regarding this, but these are the most concerning chemicals because they are the only ones being used in our food that we know of. Next week, Friday, we'll continue on this road as we dig deeper into more items sold in your favorite grocery stores. Don't forget to subscribe like and share this valuable information with your loved ones click the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos find the awakening frequency on twitter and instagram and also facebook again i'm not a doctor nutritionist nor do i have any experience in the medical or health fields i'm just a person whose health was impacted in a positive way just by changing how i eat Seek the advice of a medical or nutrition professional prior to making any changes to your diet. We are the awakening frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.